What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys today, we're going to go over something interesting, like you guys are probably going to like this video, it's pretty much budget ballers, but in my opinion, insane um, Galaxy Opals for the low, like they're pretty much hidden Opals if you really break down their stats and compare them to certain high pink diamonds and Galaxy Opals, so we're going to go over those cards, as usual, let's get 120 likes in this video for some MT giveaways, and yeah man, let's get, let's just keep smashing that like button, keep dropping them subs, because bro, we're getting closer and closer to 6k, and it's been absolutely unbelievable. So we're going to go over these cards. Hopefully you guys do like them. Honestly, these cards are straight up fire. So we're going to go over it. I want to start off. So most of these cards, pretty much every card is going to be under 50K, under 30K, I would say. Just one card I'm going to show you guys that isn't um, under 30K is Bam Amadio. So this card right here, going for around a little under 70K. He is so damn good. I want to get him, but I have no MT. I'm literally, I'm done. I have no MT to do anything. It's kind of annoying. Got to get my MT back up once those investments sell. So right here, 61K. He's rocking with 97 offense, 97 defense. Now, if you compare him to a Galaxy old David Robinson, he actually has Hall, bet more Hall of Fame badges than a Galaxy Opal David Robinson. I wish I had him to show you, but Robinson has like 21 or, or 20 Hall of Fame badges. He has 25. So... Comparing this card as well, he's a better shooter, he's faster, he's better dunker, and honestly, I think he might be better defensively. So, this card right here, for under 70k, is indeed an insane hitting Galaxy Opal. According to DBG, these cards are better than a lot of Galaxy Opals in the game, and yeah, bro, it's crazy. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Um, Derek Jones Jr. as well. If you guys don't know, this card is absolutely insane. Like, this card will dunk on anybody. I played, I had a gameplay with him. If you guys didn't check it out, please do. He actually is just a dunking god. For 19k, we're talking. 19k is no MT. You're talking about 19,000 MT. Like, dude, come on. This card is godly. With a shoe, like, his stats are pretty much golden. He has, like, pretty much a 93 point and a 99 dunk. Not only that, a 100 dunk tendency. Like, what? Comparing this card to a lot of cards. Like, honestly, Kristaps does play center. That's why I use him. But I love this card. I, once again, need more MT to pick this card up. But, yo, comparing with Kristaps, he's pretty much better. If he could play center, that would be cool. But he is 6'6". That's the only reason. But comparing him to my Kristaps, comparing him to Paul Millsap, Blake Griffin... This card's 20k. You have to grind so hard to get this Millsap and Griffin. And even Bird he's comparable to. Besides Bird's three-point shot, he's going to probably be better at defense, which indeed he pretty much is, considering the fact he has Hall of Fame clamps. So this card is Hall of Fame clamps. He's a complete stud. Definitely think you guys should pick him up. And this one, this Lance Stevenson card is so good. I versed a kid with him last night. He dropped 30 on my butt, bro. MJ Galaxy Oval covered him. He dropped 30. He almost greened every shot. He is so cheap. This card is golden. I mean, so golden. This card, I would rate it as a higher overall pink diamond for the price. I'm thinking a 97, 98 pink diamond is what he's disguised as. And with these stats, bro, I mean, he's so damn good. Like, his defense is golden. He's got Hall of Fame clamps. This card is amazing. I really do rate this as a high-end pink diamond. And comparing him to some cards like D-Wade... And MJ, I can't believe how good he is. Like, this card is absolutely amazing. His gum shots money. He has great perimeter, great steal. And honestly, he made a lot of plays on me yesterday. I played some games online. I unfortunately lost to the team with Lance Stevenson. The kid was really good at the game. He ran plays. He really knew how to space his shooters out. And he almost greened every shot online. Whoever you are, shout out to you. Dude, this card went off against me. He actually destroyed Galaxy Opal MJ. No lie. I mean, no lie. This card's really good. You guys should definitely pick him up. Next card. First off, if you guys don't know, this card's a little expensive, but yo, 
This card is so OP. I mean, he's going for so much because he's that OP. It's simply Manute Ball. With the height, I mean, the height difference on every center. If you realized, most people who use centers aren't usually 7 foot or taller. Like, Bam is usually in the game. Like, if you versus oval teams, you see Daryl Robinson at 7 foot, Bam Abadayo at 6'10", you see Bosch at 6'11", you see Zinger, he's like 7'3", but this card right here is 7'7". Seven, seven. Yes, the stats aren't that good, but I promise you, his cheese moves. I promise you, with his lankiness, I, I personally, I played a couple games with him. He had five blocks in every single game I played with him. So defensively, first off, he's a great switcher, and not only that, his steal isn't that good, but honestly, he stole the ball so much, and I played with him on Triple Threat Online and Unlimited, and this card with a 7'7 seven seven height is absolutely insane. It actually feels like he's 9 feet tall. Like, this card is that good. And I really do recommend you guys get him. And if he's open, he could probably hit some threes. He hits a 74 three. You put a shoe on him or something, he's worth it. I sold mine for 40K. I wish I didn't. He's going for around 50. I actually sold mine for around 30K. And he's going for around 50. So that's an L on my part. But pretty much any new cards that drop on from here now on, like this Gerald Wallace... With an 87.99, realistically, his 87 offense is a lot better considering the fact he has a 93.84 mid range. He can post fade, he can post hook, and he has insane driving dunk. I'm pretty sure he has Hall of Fame clans with a 99 defense. Indeed, he does. This card right here is definitely an insane Galaxy Opal. Like, straight up, he is very comparable to a lot of my cards. Yeah, he might not be the best shooter, but bro, he could dunk. He has Hall of Fame clamps. He has insane stats. He's insane. Another card I want to go over. Dude, he has 98 steel, 96 dip perimeter. I'm pretty sure that's better than my Michael Jordan. I wish I could compare him. I don't know why 2K doesn't let you compare different positions, but whatever. Um, next card, Paul Pierce is really good. I would consider him a high pink diamond. But yo, oh my god, who was the card? How can I forget? This Lonzo Ball is a god. I mean, so, so, so good. I got absolutely destroyed by him last night. He had Lance Stevenson, Lonzo Ball, Derek Jones Jr. He had Bam and he had uh, Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay is really good too. But yo, this card for around 30 something K, he is insane. I literally love this card. He's going for an insane amount of MT because he's actually that good. His dribble moves, number one, are sick. His jump shot is sick. I don't know his badges. He has 22 Hall of Fame badges. I'm comparing him to my Curry. If you compare him to Stefan Marbury, grind it so hard to get him. He's pretty, he's better. He has Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame quick draw. He has the badges you actually want. He is absolutely insane. Does he have Hall of Fame ankle breaker? I think he has gold ankle breaker. This card is so good. I love your moves. And he's 6'6". 6'6 point guard, diamond, 35K. Can't go wrong. Insane hidden Galaxy Oval, indeed. This card, 95 dunk for Lonzo Ball. What? 97 perimeter, 95 um perimeter 97 steel like what this card is insane he's a 6'6 point guard honestly he he's he's literally two inches more than lebron he is going to be able to clamp up lebron i'm not even kidding he clamped up my lebron yesterday i lost to this kid no joke um let me think there's lonzo ball there's pretty much so many damn cards that are hitting galaxy levels at this point pretty much any diamond they drop is insane chauncey billups honestly i've seen every like team that i verse online they're running like a 97 offense, 99, 97 offense, 97 defense. And I always see Chauncey Billups ran. Why? Because he's insane. A 98 offense and a 99 defense. This card is 6K. You cannot go wrong. He is money. He has freaking limitless range, whatever it's called. Um, He has limitless range. It's not called limitless range, though. It's called range extender in his game. He has range extender Hall of Fame. This card is money. His jump shot's money. He has a 94 three-point shot. 6K, 5K. You could probably get him for 3K. This card is insane. He's clamped up my LeBron. He has clamped up my LeBron. He's 94 steel, 97 perimeter. Hall of Fame clamps. This card is absolutely golden. You guys need to get him. I, I literally don't even know. Like, I have him on my team. He's insane for me. When I put him in, if I'm missing a point guard on my team, he's literally money. Personally, I don't like this David Thompson as a pink diamond. Alex Caruso is actually really good. Tom Chambers also, another good card. Another hidden opal. I would say, bro, I know he's short and all, but bro, you could get Diamond David Robinson probably for really low within this week. I'm probably going to pick up his pink diamond because I love him. Like, I love, love this Nate Robinson. He is so good. He has a 93 point, 92 mid range. This card's so good. He's going to drop to probably 50K in no time, considering the height and considering there is a glitch LeBron. 
49K on the diamond side. He's still that good. He has an 84-3 on 83 mid-range. He's literally just the most basic, perfect diamond card you want. He even has 95 steel and 89 perimeter, and that's on his diamond card. This card's going to probably be 20K in no time. He's a 95 diamond, almost available to a pink diamond. This card is so good. I was watching um, some, some guy on YouTube running gameplay with him. He played amazing for him. But yeah, guys, that's really... Oh my god, there's just so many good cards in the game right now. You guys, if you have like, but if you're a budget, you have 200 KMT, 100 KMT, you can literally build a stack starting five with probably like 80 KMT. Chauncey Billups is a good one. There's just so many cards that you could literally do. And I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I mean, there's really nothing else to say. Just trying to help you guys out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one, guys. Peace.